Hi everyone, so I'm in the middle of doing my declutter series and I want to do my palettes. That's something I want to tackle, but I feel like I haven't used a lot of my palettes in a long time and I actually want to go through them all. And I had this idea to do several looks with each palette, which is very ambitious. I just want to use my palettes and I want to show you the looks I've created with them. I'm not going to do 10 looks. It's too ambitious for me at this point in my life. Um, if you want to see someone that does 10 looks on a regular basis, I would go and check out Annette's channel. She does some gorgeous looks. She's super creative with makeup. So I'm going to link her channel and her playlist in the description down below if you want to check that out. I'm aiming for at least two looks. Three, two to three is my goal. And I want to go through each of my palettes and use them all and show you how I like them. And I thought I'd start with the Lethal Cosmetics Hive collection. Um, these are a collection of single eyeshadows that I put in a palette because um, I did sell the, the empty palette and then the 12 single eyeshadows. And I have used this quite a bit and I like these. It's just I haven't shown them on my channel. I haven't shown any looks. So that's what I want to do today and that's what I'm wearing on my eyes. So if you want to see this look plus potentially one or two others, then um, that's what you're in store for. But yeah, this palette came out ages ago and this is by no means, I, you know, I will talk about how I like these eyeshadows and all that, but I'm not planning on doing a dedicated review. It's just kind of like, here's a few looks with a palette that I have. Let's use our palettes. So I'm gonna start off with this mustardy kind of yellowish green here. It's a gorgeous shade. It catches my eye every time I look at this. And I'm gonna just pop that into my crease really liberally. I haven't used any primer by the way because I just, these days I'm a bit lazy with it. I actually need to go and get a new primer because my Urban Decay one, I still have a bit of it, but I think it's really old. And so I don't really wanna put that on my eyelids anymore. Just decided that I'm just not gonna do that. <laughs> So need to get a new primer. If anyone has a good eye primer suggestion for oily eyelids, I would appreciate that. But I mean, this does stay relatively well on my eyelids. It, there is some fading, but you know, I'm not too fussy about it. Really helps that there's a mirror in here. Just makes it really easy. But basically the look that I'm recreating is one that I did in a previous video. So I'm gonna sort of recreate that look. Um, it was the makeup collection tag that I did with my sister. I used a whole bunch of shadows from this palette. With the same brush, I'm gonna take this darker color. This is a more of a foresty green, and I'm just gonna put that slightly underneath that other shade. So you can still see that yellowy green, but um, it's not gonna dominate completely and just blend that out sorry about my fringe by the way if it's getting in the way hopefully you can see everything next i'm gonna go in with this purple shade this is kind of like it's not the darkest purple in the palette but it will give some dimension to the look so i'm gonna take which brush maybe this one this is the sonya g crease pro i'm gonna take that and Pop it sort of in the outer V, but take it a little bit into the crease as well. These shadows, very smooth and very blendable. Um, and that's nice. And they don't muddy into each other, as you can see. They kind of blend very well, and you can still see the color very distinctly. So I have been quite happy with these eyeshadows. Next, I'm going to take with that same brush. I'm gonna take this orange shade, it's a burnt orange shade, it's gorgeous, and just put that in the center. You'd think I'd use this brush because, you know, I've got a bit of that purpleness in it so I can blend it easily, but the real reason is I'm lazy, so, and I don't wanna to wash too many brushes, so I just use the same brush. And if you've got too much of that purple still on it, just use something like a color switch, a paper towel, something like that and just get that color off. So just putting it in the center. Next, I'm going to take the lightest orange, which is the one here. I'm gonna take another brush, a clean brush. This is the Work Pro from Sonia G. Just pop that into the inner corner. I'm not, I can't actually remember if this is the shade I used in my video, but 
we're gonna go with it. I'm gonna go in a bit more with that orange so I can kind of assimilate it onto the eyelid and blend it in with the other orange shade. And I might also take on a smaller brush, I'm gonna take this uh, smudger one and I'm gonna take the darkest purple in there and put it just a little bit in the outer V just to give it some dimension. I think I might just take what's left of that and just smudge it underneath as well. It's very pigmented. It's a bit strong, so I might just smudge it out with a clean smudger brush. This is the smudger too. So this is an all matte look, but I think I'm gonna take a little bit of this shimmery purple onto the lower lash as well, just over the top. Just to lighten it a little bit. Just going to blend it all out a little bit. Just make sure it's all blended out. I think I'm pretty happy with that. No fallout as well, which is fantastic. Now in that video, I did wear some of this inner corner highlight, but I'm not going to go in with that today. Um, I just want to keep it pretty simple. So I'm gonna put on the rest of my face as well. So I've done the rest of my makeup and this is what the makeup looks like. I've paired it with the same lipstick I wore that day. This is 710 Ultra Matte Lipstick from Melt Cosmetics. Actually, I love this color. I think it's probably my favorite color that I have from Melt. It's like a swampy orange. It's like a, a mustardy orange. You can sort of see that it's kind of got yellowy brown tones to it and I really like it. I think it's really unique. So today's look is going to be a really quick and simple look using only three shades from the um, Hive collection because um, some days you just want easy makeup and I'm going to work and I want something fairly paired back. So used mostly earthy toned shades. Probably took me three, four minutes to do. So today I'm planning on doing a really simple and quick look today, probably using two, three shades, maybe just two. Um, and I think I'm gonna go for a bronzy shade because I just kind of wanna get out the door really quickly and um, just do something simple now. I don't usually go for bronze, but why not? I haven't used that shade yet. So just gonna go in with this matte beige shade here, just in the crease. It's kind of like my actual skin color, so Actually doesn't really show up so well, but I'm just gonna, any discoloration, just kind of cover that up a bit because I do have kind of really dark eyelids, kind of naturally a bit purpley red. So just with, this is a Soeva Lux Soft Definer Brush, just putting that very liberally into the crease and just blending it out. Then with this Lux Smoker Shader Brush, I'm gonna take the metallic brown shade and just pop that on the center. Okay, so metallics are quite nice. Um, they go on really well. I'm not using a wet brush or anything like that. And I haven't even got any glitter glue on, so we'll see how that lasts on my eyelids. So far, it's giving me some good pigmentation, which is great. And then just blend that out with that brush I was using before. I mean, they're not super, super metallic eyeshadows. You probably get the best payoff using your finger. I'm gonna build it up just a little bit more because I feel like I've sheared it out just a bit too much. I'm gonna put that same shade on my lower lash line, the bronze. And I'm just gonna use this um, smudger brush from Sonia G, this is the smudger too. And just go over that underneath. Just taking it almost all the way in. I feel like my eyes definitely need some dimension because it, it, um, it looks a bit light right now. I'm gonna add that dark matte purple. Just smoke it out on my lash line, just to give it something extra. So it just gives it just a little bit of depth because I feel like otherwise it's a bit too light. Just again, just smudging it out. And whatever's the residual on the brush, just on the lower lash line as well. And I think I'm just gonna leave it at that and just do the rest of my makeup. So this is my super simple look today, just using three shades 
which are these two and this matte purple to give it the look a little bit of depth otherwise it's all kind of the same tone very simple work appropriate look because I'm about to go to work now I've just paired it with you know a red lip this is an oldie but a goodie from Revlon fabulous fig like it So the only two shades I haven't used so far is this metallic green and the metallic blue. And I don't know exactly what I want to do today, but I want to try and incorporate those two shades into this look. Um, but I am going to go to work today, so I don't want it to be too colorful. So I don't know what we'll do. We're just going to go with the flow. I think I'm going to start with this burnt orange shade. I'm going to put that in the crease, but I'm going to tap my brush in pretty lightly so it's not... Like it's not too much, so I don't want it to be too dark, but I'm just going to shear it out. Just kind of have a light wash of that burnt orange in the crease because I want to have that metallic blue on top of that. So just kind of, oops, she's starting to shed. In there just a little bit. I just tapped my brush in once so because I want a sheer wash of color rather than you know something super super bold and I'll just blend that out a bit on this side because it obviously tapped my brush in hard on this side excuse my fringe by the way it's just not I slept weird and it's just doing weird things. I'm now going to take the metallic blue and I'm going to use my one of my new brushes. This is from Yojia. I'm going to take that metallic blue and just pop it on the center. Very pretty shade. I'm going to follow the, my, the lines in my eyes. Like I have quite a lot of eyelid folds and I'm just not going to keep it too high so you can still see that orange when I look straight. I'm just going to blend that out slightly with the brush I was using before. The edges aren't so sharp. Similarly, I'm going to take that burnt orange shade and put that on the lower lash line and I might layer some of that blue as well. I do like how this empty palette has a mirror. just makes it quite convenient because not all empty palettes do have a mirror. so very useful. Then I'm going to take some of that blue. I'm going to use this angled brush also from Yujia. Just layer that on top. I really do think this blue is stunning. Just connect it up to the outer edge. And I still haven't used that green. I want to use that green in some way. I don't know. Maybe I'll put a little bit of green in the center of my lid and just see what that looks like layered on top. I'm going to take this small Hakuhoto shader brush and just grab a little bit of that green. It's kind of one of those shades that I think looks really cool, but it's not necessarily one that I'd gravitate towards. I'm just going to put a little bit in the center and then blend it out with that brush I used to apply that blue. I might actually put a little bit on the wall last time as well, just in the center. And again, blend it out with that brush. And I think I'm gonna leave it as that. Excuse the fringe, this is what the makeup looks like with the rest of my face done. Just use this Chanel lipstick in Chicness that I talked about, I got when I was in Duty Free in Japan. It's a nice lipstick. Um, actually, despite the shade not being what I expected, but um, yeah, this is the look. I think it's, I think it's quite nice. It's a bit pared back, but still shows that blue really beautifully. I've had a really good experience with all these eyeshadows so far. Um, I like how the pigmentation is. They're really easy to blend. The metallics are quite nice. Don't have to use a glue glue or your, a wet brush or anything like that to get them looking like this. There is a little bit of, you know, kickback in the pan when using it, but I mean, I had done all my base before I had done my eyes and I didn't get any fallout. So that's great. And yeah, I'm impressed overall with the Lethal Cosmetics eyeshadow so far. Don't feel like I need to get any more because I have a lot of eyeshadows, but I'm happy that I've gotten these ones. Okay, so those were the three looks I created with the Lethal Cosmetics Hive Collection eyeshadows. Hopefully you got a good uh, sense of the eyeshadows in case you were interested in them and um, hope you like the looks. Um, again, like I mentioned, I'm going to go through all of my palettes in my collection and come up with a couple of looks because um, 
I feel like I want to rotate my eyeshadow palettes quite a bit and I, I know some of them really haven't had any love since I've gotten them including this palette you know I got this a few months ago and I hadn't really touched it very much so I'm glad to have picked these up because I really like them obviously this is not a review but um, if you are interested in hearing about more details about them I'm gonna leave a couple of videos that I found useful in the description bar below um, so you can check them out because this is not a review <laughs> obviously this is just here are the eyeshadows here are some looks you can create with it if you're interested anyway I hope you found this fun to watch and I'll see you in my next one thanks for watching